Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I will be talking about custom orders and the benefits of offering them in your store. A lot of people come to Etsy to do a personalized t-shirt or sweatshirt or whatever it is, and they like to work with small businesses to do so. And it's a great opportunity for you as an Etsy seller. The first thing that you'll need to do is enable this on your Etsy shop manager dashboard for the button to show up on your Etsy shop. So if you have it enabled, you'll see this right here, request custom order, makes it really easy for the customer. And I'll show you exactly how to enable this now. So over on your Etsy shop manager dashboard, you will select settings and then hit options. Underneath custom order request, you'll wanna make sure this is selected for enabled. Request custom order button will appear on your shop. Once you have it selected, scroll down to the bottom and make sure you hit save. After you hit save, it'll say your shop changes have been saved. You can go back and double check to make sure the button appears now in your store and it will look just like this. Customers can also message you directly requesting a custom order. When they do so, in the message thread, you'll see on the right hand side, it will say make this a custom order order so you can easily build out a private listing for your customer which makes it very easy. But you do have to have the custom orders enabled on your Etsy shop as I showed you previously in order for this button to show up. And the customer also has to message you first in order for you to create a private listing within the message thread. If it's an existing customer that has already purchased from you and then they're messaging you again in an old thread, you won't be able to create a custom listing within the message thread. So just make sure the customer first messages you in order for you to build out a private listing for that customer. And another thing that's super important with doing custom orders is having very good communication and good customer service. A great way to streamline doing custom orders is saving snippets in your messages. If you're not familiar on how to do that, you'll just go to your messages, go to your inbox, and then under all saved replies, you can create new saved replies that you can easily send to customers. Etsy already has one for custom orders, but you will wanna tweak it and make it more specific to you and your shop. The things that I do like to have included in my save snippet is the design fee, payment, time frame, and cost. And then you can tweak this message accordingly to each customer, but the save snippets makes it very easy for sending quick replies to your customers. And you need to work with them throughout the entire process. Just make sure they have all the necessary information for a custom order, what it all entails, how much it will cost, everything that they need to know know to make the process as smooth as possible for your customer. And another very important thing is to make sure they're happy with the design before purchasing it. So you can work through the details. If they want to offer feedback, give feedback and make sure this all happens in a very timely manner so that the process goes very smoothly for both you and the customer. Another thing that you need to consider is how much you're going to charge for a custom order. So if it's going to take you a lot of time, you'll need to charge more. So if you want to charge a five, 10, $15 design fee, you can, or if it's just as simple as changing the color of a design that you already have in your store. It may not take that much work, so you won't need to charge extra if you don't want to. Just decide what you want to do and then communicate that to your customer. But it is critical to determine how much you will charge for that custom order before starting any designing. If you are going to charge extra for a custom order, I suggest charging the customer up front to make sure that you get paid for the work that you will do, especially if it's a very intricate design. You don't want to spend hours creating this design and risk the chance of the customer not purchasing it after doing all this work. So charge them up front and make sure you get paid before you do any work. Another thing you can discuss while messaging your customer is just to let them know that there's a non-refundable design fee. That way, if they back out after you design it, you'll still get paid for your work doing the designing. And then you can just refund them for the cost of the sweatshirt and the shipping, but you'll still get paid for the time you spent designing. When I was new to selling on Etsy and we did our first customer order, my wife spent two days creating this design for this customer. And then in the end, the customer never responded and never purchased the item. So it's so important to charge up front so that you're getting paid for the time that you spend designing. And just make sure this is communicated to your customer customer in the beginning stages of talking with them. You just need to figure out what works best for you. The more custom orders that you do, you'll be able to refine this model and you'll be able to figure out exactly how you want to go about creating custom orders for your customers and doing them in your shop. Another thing to consider is if a customer reaches out to you with a custom order idea and it ends up being a really cool idea that you could possibly sell in your shop, you could just create a public listing and add it to your store and then have the customer go and purchase it from your store without having to create a private listing. And it's all situational just depending on what the customer wants, but a lot of times customers Customers will have really cool ideas that you could possibly add to your store that other people would potentially want to buy from you. If it's a custom order that you think is only specific to this customer, then I just go and create a private listing for that customer to go and purchase. I'll show you exactly how to do that now. When a customer messages you about doing a custom order, it'll show up in your messages in your inbox and then just open the message and talk with the customer about exactly what it is that they want, figure out all the details, send them all the necessary details, the price, the shipping times, processing times, and then discuss the exact 
exact design that they want, to get feedback on the design, do everything necessary before going out and building out your custom order link. Um, after you've discussed everything and you're both on the same page, you can then go and create a custom private listing that will show up in this message thread that the customer can go and purchase from. When you're ready to make this a custom order, you will click this button up here where it says make this a custom order. If you don't see this option here, it's because you don't have it enabled in your store, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, or the customer didn't message you first. It was an existing customer or it was an old message thread that you initiated. It has to be a message that was sent by the customer in order for you to have the option to make this a custom order. So those are two things to note. So when you're ready, go ahead and make this a custom order. And now we're ready to go ahead and build out this listing. So click build the custom order. And this will look just like a regular listing, but it will be private for the customers. When I title it, I just call it the design and then sweatshirt or t-shirt or whatever it is. So we'll go ahead and just do name of design and then the sweatshirt, you can plug it in however you like. It's entirely up to you how you'd like to title it. You don't need to worry about doing any SEO here though for the title because it is a private listing. And then you'll wanna go and plug in your item details. And for the item details, I'll just use this template that I use for all my custom orders. So I'll name the sweatshirt, whatever it is, if it's a Bella Cameras t-shirt or a Gildan sweatshirt, I'll name it here and how many they want. And then again, just name the design of the shirt or whatever it is. And then in the item details, I'll just include like the name of the design or whatever it is they requested. The sweatshirt color I'll include here. So if it's a black or a white sweatshirt or navy, whatever it is, add that there. Include the size, you can plug that in. And then I also like to include the processing time and the shipping time. And then I'll include the sweatshirt cost here as well as the custom design fee if I'm charging one, and then the total cost. If I'm not charging an additional design fee, I'll just do the total cost, or however it is you want to set it up, but this is just a basic template that you could possibly follow for your item details in your custom listing. Once I have all that added, I'll need to add my processing time. So I like to do one to two weeks, and then for category, I'll just select clothing, and then you'll need to add the price here. So whatever price you want to charge, if it's $35 or whatever it is, you'll add that in there. And then for shipping, go ahead and choose the profile that you want. So if you're offering free shipping, you'll choose that or whatever profile you have built out that you want to offer. And then the last thing you'll need to do is add a photo. There's a few different ways you can do this. So one, you can just use a mock-up that you have and add the design to the mock-up and then add the photo. Or you can just use the computer generated one that Printful creates when you're doing a new order. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Lastly, if you're charging extra for this custom order and you need to charge them up front, you can just do a photo saying custom order or whatever it is. It doesn't need to be the actual design or of a model. Those are three different Different options for adding a photo. But for this example, I'll just show you how to use the computer generated one from Printful. So we'll jump over to Printful. I go up here to the top right hand corner, I'll click new order. And this isn't the only way to do it. You can do it however you like, but this is just the way that I've done it in the past, which has worked for me. So then create your order and then I'll select new product up here. And then I'll go and find the item that the customer is buying. So we'll do a sweatshirt and we'll do the Gildan 18,000. And then I would select my color. So we'll do sport gray. And then you'll also be required to select the size in order to download your photo, and then you need to add your design. So if you already have your design downloaded to your computer, you just go ahead and choose file and then add it from your Dropbox or Drive or from your computer, wherever you have it. For this example, I'll just add text real quick so I can get this image. And then once you have your design added, you'll go ahead and hit continue. And then I'll go and preview this mockup and then save this to my computer by just right clicking, save image as, and then downloading it to my computer. I do recommend cropping the image, so you can go and open that image that you just downloaded. And then depending on if you're on a Mac or PC, this may differ, but I'll go ahead and crop this image, I'll crop his head out of it, and then just make it nice for my thumbnail photo. And then I'll go ahead and save a copy, and this is the image that I'll use to add to my custom listing. Now I'll go and add the photo that we just downloaded from Printful. And then I'll go and review everything, make sure everything is correct before publishing. And if it is, I'll hit publish. And if you're charging extra for a custom order, and as I mentioned before, you'll just do a photo of saying custom order, whatever it is. Later on, you can update this photo, you can edit it, and then add the computer generated one if you'd like. But again, it's just entirely up to you how you want to build this out. This is just a suggestion of how you can do it and how I've done it and how I've had success with it. Once you've reviewed everything and it's all good to go, you will go ahead and hit publish. And then this will pop up here. Are you ready to publish this private listing? After you've published, we'll let the buyer know the order is ready to purchase. So they'll message the customer, which is really nice and then you will only be charged a 20 cent private listing fee when it's purchased. So hit publish. And now the link to the listing is right here so the customer can click on it directly through the message thread and then purchase the item. And it's just like a regular listing in your store where the customer can go and easily purchase their item. And I do like to message my customer and just follow up letting them know that the item's ready to be purchased, have them review it if there's any issues to let me know. I know Etsy does send the automatic email notifying them but I also like to follow up in the messages. 
And it's entirely up to you how you'd like to do that. And what's cool with this custom listing is it's just like a regular listing in your store where the customer will go and purchase, they add their shipping information so you're not required to ask any of that information from your customer personally through the message thread. They will do it all on their own so it makes it very easy and very streamlined. Once the customer places their order, it'll show up just like a regular order in your Printful orders, but it will show up as not synced. So you'll need to go in and manually sync that order with the corresponding product. And then you'll push it through just like a regular order. If you wanna know how to price products on Etsy, watch this video right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.